I just got back from the gym and on my doorstep I had a little brown envelope, presumably the Apple card, as I'm sure you've guessed already by the title of this video. So let's, uh, let's unbox it and do some first impressions for myself and all of you. All right, so this is the package that I had uh, in the FedEx envelope on my doorstep. So let's get right into this. So I got a kitchen knife because I couldn't find my, uh, my box cutter. Let me not cut myself. Let's see if I can just tear this without knocking over my camera. Ah, there we go. Cool. So, pretty slim packaging. Um, it basically is a little cardboard thing with, I presume, a white pouch. Very Apple-esque with an Apple logo on it. Uh, nothing else in here. So let's toss this to the side. And hopefully this doesn't have any personal info on it. I don't think it does. But yeah, once we open this up, we have this super nice gradient going on. This Apple logo right here, what's on the back? Literally an empty white uh, piece of plastic. So it has uh, basically the card just sitting right here. So let me get this out of here. Um, I think this slides out. Or maybe not. How do we get this out? Ah, there we go. Cool. So this literally just slides out of here. And wow, this is a kind of a heavyish card. So it has the MasterCard logo on it. Let's see if I can zoom in. Uh, MasterCard logo on it here. Um, I think it was on the back. Yeah, so we got a MasterCard logo on here, right there. And then we have the Apple logo on it, of course. And yeah, got your name etched on there. You have your chip and yeah, it's a pretty pretty standard, standard card with the exception of that it's titanium. So yeah, um, I have a similar card that I can actually grab in a second that I want to compare this to, which is a card uh, by Chase, uh, specifically an Amazon Chase card that also feels really similar. Uh, it's like a little heavier, it's also metallic, and I want to say that that one feels more metallic than this one. Not that a card's, um, the, the level of metallicness has any indication of how good the card is, uh, this card can be set up with your Apple Wallet on your iPhone or iPad, etc., etc. You can use it with Apple Pay. Uh, there's cashback, daily cashback. The cashback is not that great. Um, there's been a couple videos comparing this card to several other cards, but uh, of course I had to get one for the sake of just getting this and showing it to you guys. But I probably won't be using this too, too often. I mean, there's no sign-up bonus. Um, the AP, APY and APRs are pretty pretty standard for a card. Um, this is with a partnership with Goldman Sachs, if you didn't know that already. Uh, Apple unveiled this with their uh, other services and their service event a couple months ago, where they announced uh, the Apple Card, this guy, uh, Apple TV Plus, uh, their news subscription, as well as their gaming subscription. So once all of that kind of gets out, uh, I'll be reviewing and kind of doing a first look at that. So. Yeah, that's about it. In here, um, there's basically nothing else. And to set this up with your iPhone, actually, um, you would just hold this uh, next to the device. And similar to how AirPods have a little pop-up modal from the bottom of the device, it'll pop up and prompt you to activate. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, let me go grab the other card that I want to compare this to, and I will be right back. So here is the other card I was mentioning. It's the Amazon Chase card, and it also feels very similar. I don't know if you could hear it in the video. Both are metallic. Um, I can't flip this one over. It does have the number etched on the back. But uh, as you can kind of hear, they're both uh, metallic cards. They feel very similar. So kind of the point of me comparing these is if, if you have this card or a similar Chase service card, that's what this guy feels like. Would I recommend getting this? I mean, it really depends if you just want to have one to flex and have one. Um, there isn't a great cashback or opening bonus incentive. It's really just having a 
white card in your wallet with an Apple logo on it. So yeah, that's basically all I wanted to cover. Um, if you're new to this channel, subscribe for tech, Apple, uh, coding, entrepreneurship, general videos. Um, I try to post pretty consistently, although lately I have been pretty bad about following my schedule. Uh, I plan on getting back on track uh, this week. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.